Through its lonely journey in space, Earth carries along with it every animal and plant that has ever lived and gone. It's our home, the only one we know, the only one we have. Its rich biodiversity of life and intricate ecosystems awe us. There's a beautiful interrelationship between all life on the Earth. But one species is destroying this delicate web of life, the humans. The same ones who arrogantly profess they are intellectually above all other species are self-destructing. We have disconnected ourselves from nature. We have much potential to make life a better experience for all, but the way we're going, real disaster lies ahead. Surely the earth will not just end, but that's perhaps the worst part about climate change. It's 2023. Humans have already caused 1.2 degrees Celsius of global warming since the Industrial Revolution. This means sea ice in the polar ice caps is melting and continues to break records. Spikes in the number of wildfires are seen across the globe, and they are becoming increasingly more intense and harder to control. Warming waters in lakes and oceans are causing an increase in fish die-off events. The effects of climate change are beginning to ramp up. For decades, climate scientists have been sounding off the alarm for massive change, yet change has been largely stalled by governments and world leaders. It's no surprise that 2023 became the Earth's hottest year on record. It's 2025. Global fossil fuel emissions continue to rise. China and Europe now lead the world in solar and wind energy driving emissions to slow down. Good news, but not good enough. Trump was elected back into office in 2025. He takes the US out of the Paris Climate Agreement again, stalls renewable energy deployment, and increases the amount of drilling for oil and gas. This further delays action from other countries as the US becomes complacent in their fossil fuel use. Heat-related deaths continue to skyrocket the permafrost in the Arctic, once permanently frozen ground which supports lush forests and acts as a carbon sink, now releases more carbon than it absorbs due to increasing rates of ice melt. The permafrost holds gigatons of methane and carbon dioxide beneath the ice. Their gradual release would lead to an acceleration of global warming which in turn would accelerate the melting of the remaining permafrost a phenomenon known as the permafrost carbon feedback cycle. Not only that, the Atlantic Ocean Circulation, AMOC, continues to weaken, worrying scientists. Red alerts continue to sound off, yet the urgency for action is still largely lacking in governments and in the public. 2033, the 1.5 degrees Celsius global temperature threshold is met. Earth's tipping point has been reached. This triggers a cascade of warming effects that lead to irreversible damage. The collapse of the Greenland ice sheet continues, causing a positive feedback loop of warming in the Arctic. And the Atlantic Ocean current continues to slow down, causing extreme weather events in Europe, Africa, and South America. Brazil sees a major heat wave with prolonged periods of 45 degrees Celsius temperature swings. Flooding in eastern U.S. coastal cities has become more common, and areas in Miami, Florida lose drinking water due to saltwater intrusion from rising sea levels. The city is plagued by almost weekly flooding events. In March 2033, the governor of Florida gave out an initiative for people in Miami and Tampa to move towards inland cities. New York City also became plagued with flooding. The subway is flooded monthly and a third of properties in the city see skyrocketing insurance costs due to regular flooding. Businesses begin to move inland. The Amazon rainforest sees rapid species extinctions plagued by wildfires. For the first time, the Amazon rainforest becomes a carbon emitter instead of a carbon sink due to frequent fires and deforestation. The lungs of our planet rapidly burn away. 2040, 
1.7 degrees Celsius of warming has occurred. World leaders continue to speculate if climate change is real. Climate activist groups like Just Stop Oil increase in numbers as they call for climate action. Greta Thunberg becomes elected as a government official and tries to enact climate action. But it's not enough. Conservative leaders mock these efforts. They dismiss the rising temperatures as merely weather anomalies. With business as usual, the permafrost in the Northern Hemisphere melts by 20%. The Sierra snowpack decreases by 33%, putting huge stress on the water supply in California and Nevada. Many parts of California become uninhabitable due to common wildfires, water shortages, and power outages due to heat waves. Heat waves in the UK and Europe have quadrupled, causing thousands of heat-related deaths. Infrastructure in the region is cracking and warping due to the intense heat, causing governments to reconsider new infrastructure codes and rebuilding existing roads and buildings. In India, crop yields fall by 40%, causing food shortages and many rice and wheat farmers to lose business. Glacier melt in the Himalayas puts stress on India's water supply, amplified by droughts. Safe drinking water is very hard to come by, as water wars in Asia and Africa break out, and countries begin to compete for water resources. 2050. Earth reaches 2 degrees of warming, and Arctic sea ice is at dangerously low levels. The Northern Hemisphere sees major permafrost thawing, unleashing stored carbon and methane that hasn't been seen since the last ice age. The California Sierra snowpack is now 75% gone, erasing a huge portion of the water supply for the Golden State. 9% of all the Earth species are now extinct since pre-industrial times. Warming ocean waters are driving a drop in the ocean's pH level and a decrease in oxygen in the water. Ocean warming also amps up the metabolism of marine animals that then need more food. Fish are moving towards colder waters, but the ocean warming diminishes the nutritional value of kelp to fish migrating to cooler waters. Fish die-offs plague the oceans, disrupting the entire ocean food chain. About 75% of large fish are now gone, and for the first time ever, there is more plastic than fish in the oceans. 40% of the world's permafrost has now melted. In 2052, a man in Russia excavating land contracted a virus from the permafrost melt. It has since spread to thousands of people, igniting an epidemic in the region. Scientists have discovered microbes that are over 400,000 years old in the permafrost. So many of the viruses that have plagued humanity throughout its history, such as the bubonic plague and smallpox, have awakened from dormancy and are now spreading to people and animals. The Atlantic Ocean circulation completely shuts down for the first time in 13,000 years. Europe cools by 5 or 10 degrees Celsius, making winters extremely cold and harsh. London gets hammered by increasingly frequent blizzards during winter, some dropping two to three feet of snowfall in the area, the highest snowfall amount seen for thousands of years. 2060. The world surpasses 2.5 degrees of warming. The United States sees a foot of sea level rise, which is regularly damaging infrastructure like roads, sewage treatment plants, and even power plants. The North Atlantic sees an abrupt increase in rising seas as the currents no longer carry water outward and coastlines get inundated by even more water. Coastal cities worldwide are seeing recurring flooding due to rising sea levels. Islands like the Maldives and the Marshall Islands are completely abandoned. Insect-borne diseases like malaria and Zika become more prevalent in a warming world as their carriers are able to exist in more regions or thrive for longer seasons. The tropical rain belts go haywire, causing some regions to experience more droughts and others to suffer more floods. Water becomes scarce for another half a billion people as droughts and saltwater intrusion continue to wreak havoc on lakes, rivers, and groundwater. 60% of the world's coral reefs are devastated, 
and low dissolved oxygen levels in the oceans have made it nearly impossible for fish to survive. Shellfish like oysters and mussels are finding it harder to survive as acidification disrupts the calcification process required to build their shells. The world's oceans rapidly become deserted. 2085. The world has now seen 3.5 degrees of warming. Global crop yields decreased by 25%, sparking massive food shortages and skyrocketing the cost of food. Most mountain glaciers in the world have disappeared. Crop failures plague most regions and the beautiful white peaks of the Swiss Alps have become wet, green, and snowless. A large portion of the Thwaites Glacier in Antarctica collapses, changing global coastlines forever by locking in 8 feet of extra sea level rise. 90% of all emperor penguins are now extinct, if not all. Saltwater intrusion destroys coastal farmland, destroys crops in China, East Asia, and South America. And many underground water reserves on which the region's half a billion people depend on are now undrinkable. Water stress is at dangerous levels. Water wars are common as countries are now using lethal weapons to fight for the rights to use lakes, rivers, and groundwater sources. On the bright side, the world is finally bringing down carbon emissions. World leaders are now implementing laws to ban coal and gas and only implement renewable energy as they finally have understood the climate research and became very concerned. A major milestone for all of humanity, but it's too late. 75% of the top permafrost layers that exist across the Arctic region melt away. They destroy infrastructure and irreversibly change the unique terrain and ecosystems at the northern parts of the world. Billions of tons of methane beneath the permafrost have been unleashed, leading to further accelerated warming. 2100. At 4.5 degrees of warming, 2 billion people are now impacted by recurring flooding. Major coastal cities are abandoned and begin to move inland, causing stress on inland cities due to overpopulation and lack of resources. Heat waves are common all around the globe. Summers become dangerously hot for much of the world's population. The Middle East is now completely uninhabitable. Europe is inundated with climate refugees. Widespread extinction and starvation have become the norm. Nearly 50% of shellfish are now extinct and 75% of all fish species are extinct. Global crop yields fall by 35%, making it nearly impossible for farmers to make a predictable profit. One billion people, mainly poorer people, have lost their lives. Half of the world's population faces a climate-induced food crisis. Two billion people do not have access to reliable drinking water. The world is largely unlivable for most humans, especially the poorest among us. 30% of the Earth's species are now extinct. The Earth is still standing, but its inhabitants have been discombobulated. The way of life that we're used to, the richness of biodiversity in the Earth's ecosystems, the lush green forests, the gorgeous white ice and snow that covers the Earth's terrain has turned to mud. Look at what they had, so fragile and rare. It will never be attainable again. The home they took for granted is no longer a home. They fail to grasp the issue in time. They fail to care for one another. They fail to work together. Who knew that the world's so-called most intellectual species could be so short-sighted as to self-destruct?